one needs well, what, what does well? Which, uh, this, this, we have the DHS for the dry land and also the DHS. Yeah. The the even scratch, you should have the credible and tested stockists. Yes. What does it mean? What does Zangu wa Kristo amani ya Bwana iwe nanyi. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais mimi sina mengi. Nina furaha kusimama hapa siku ya leo kama mbunge pekee wa serikali ya Kenya kwanza hapa Mombasa County. Vile vile naibu wa rais nataka kusema hivi. When we were going around the country Transversing the coastal region, we used to go round and tell the good people of Mombasa County that freedom is coming. I want to tell you, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, indeed, that freedom 
is here with us. We want to say thank you very much with the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, for returning the port back to the great people of Coast Region. Tunasema Asante Sana. He ni tamu yangu ya pili mheshimiwa naibu wa rais lakini katika kipindi cha miaka mitano ya bunge la 12 hapa Mombasa County sikupata fursa ya kusumama katika mkutano yoyote hata sherehe ya taifa jamhuri utamaduni hata siku ya leba sijawahi pewa nafasi na serikali iliyokuwa hapo awali na serikali iliyokuwa ikiongozwa na uhuru kenyata the era and era of one uhuru muigai kenyata is over and freedom is here with us mimi nataka kukushukuru sana kwa kukutembelea eneo bunge langu la nyali hapa naibu wa rais karibu ni uwawe hapa nikitafuta kura ya kenya kwanza iko watu kadha wa kadha wengine ni viongozi wa asasi za usalama waliweza kutukimbiza sana wakisahau ya kwamba maamuzi ya wananyali yatafanywa na watu wa nyali na maamuzi ya wakenya yatafanywa na wakenya tumewasamehe lakini tunataka sasa tushikane tupeleke hii gurudumu mbele ili tuweze kujenga Kenya na tuweze kutimiza ile ahadi ya wakenya ambayo iko katika the plan ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Kwa hivyo your excellency Fila Tom, mimi ni mtu yako ya mkono. I am the only MP from the government here in Mombasa County. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema ji hisi uko nyumbani, karibu tena hapa na ututembelee kila siku. Asante sana. Eh. Hey. Na kuna senator nominated wa Mombasa sijamuona lakini yuko njiani na muona mwakilishi wake yuko hapa. Haya. Your Excellency the Deputy President kwanza ni kuchukua nafasi kuweza kukaribisha Mombasa. Pili sitakuwa ni maneno mingi. Lakini kuweza tu kutoa kauli ya jinsi serikali kuu na serikali za county zinaweza kufanya kazi pamoja kwa min ajili ya watu wetu wa Mombasa na kwa min ajili ya wakenya kwa jumla kwanza katika upande wa afya sisi kama kaunti ya Mombasa tunaunga mkono msimamo wa serikali kuu ya kuwa njia muafaka ni bora kuweza kulinda na kuweza kuepusha maradhi kuliko kutibu yale maradhi na ndio sababu tutaanza mazungumzo na wizara ya afya kuweza kupeana amana yani stipend kwa wale CHV na CHWs kila mwezi tuweze kugawanya jukumu hilo tukiweza kuzuia yale mripuko ya maradhi katika maeneo yetu pili county ya Mombasa itakuwa ni katika county zenye kuongoza kuweka sheria kujibana sisi wenyewe kama county tuhakikishe fedha ambazo ni za afya zisitumike katika sekta yoyote nyingine tukikusanya fedha za afya katika county ya Mombasa asilimia fulani zinatumika katika sekta ya afya pia vile vile la pili ni kuhusiana na mpango wa leseni tunaweka mpangilio kukusanya leseni zote hususan katika MMEs na SMEs hizi biashara ndogo ndogo zilioko tunataka biashara ndogo ndogo wasiwe na leseni chungu mzima serikali yetu itaweka mpangilio the new finance bill ambayo tayari tumeitoa tayari tunaanza kuzungumza na washikadao tunataka leseni hizi ziwe ndani yake kama ni fire ni health ni single business permit tena na sisi tumeenda mbele zaidi tunaweza kutambua ya kuwa katika Mombasa hii kuna baadhi ya sehemu 
mapato ni zaidi kuliko mengine tumegawanya Mombasa sehemu tofauti tofauti ikiwa uko katika sehemu ambayo yenye mapato zaidi lazima uonee huruma na imani wale ambao mapato ni yako chini kwa hivyo we have zoned Mombasa ili zile licensing ziende kwa minajili na katika sekta ambazo kwamba zenye kufaa bwana is next is the deputy president nimenikunongonezea lakini pia si vibaya niweze kutaja hadharani nimeandika barua kwa Kenya Ports Authority na tunataka wale wenye kufanya biashara kupitia KPA let them pay their fair share hata kama itakuwa ni kiwango ni kidogo ambacho hakitoumiza uchumi kando na hayo hata juzi niko na NCA National Construction Authority it is not right kama tunaambia mtu mwenye ardhi yake binafsi ukitaka kujenga lazima uwe na permit kutoka kwa county uwe na permit ya NCA for obvious purposes not only in regards to levy but also pakitokea na disaster yoyote tunajua ni kitu gani kimejengwa wapi kwa nini wale wenye kufanya biashara na kujenga ndani halmashauri ya bandari wasiwe ni wenye ku apply license zile why should we have skewed level of licensing within the county of Mombasa and even beyond Mombasa na hii iwe ni kitu ambacho kiweze kuigwa katika county nyingine zote kwa hivyo your excellency the deputy president we will be proposing and we've written to KPA na nitaandika kwako kama chairman wetu wa IBEC uweze kutusaidia ya kwa mambo haya yaweze kufanyika nikimalizia your excellency hapa uchumi wetu wengi wanadhania ya kuwa uchumi wa Mombasa unaenda na utalii ukweli wa maneno utalii unatupa asilimia inne peke yake only 4% na sababu kuu hatuna open sky policy ni lazima tukubali ndege kutoka maeneo yote ya dunia anayetaka kutua katika Mombasa awe na uhuru ya kutua katika Mombasa nchi jirani hapa peke yake nchi jirani Tanzania ndege zinakuwa na uhuru ya kuweza kutua Zanzibar na si lazima ziende Dar es Salaam wala Dodoma kwa nini hapa ndege zikiwa zinataka kutua Mombasa zinaambiwa lazima mwanzo ziende Nairobi kufika Nairobi unaambiwa ya kwa lazima ukate leseni nyingine tena wananyimwa nafasi ya kuweza kutua Mombasa tukiweza kufanya jambo hilo tumefungua Mombasa kwa miji zaidi ya 320 kwa hatua ya kalamu moja peke yake kwa hivyo excellency the deputy president kwa lugha ya kikwetu huku tunakuambia cheza kama wewe fanya mambo yako tunakuaminia fanya mambo yako na sisi hapa kwanza ambaye hana shukrani atakuwa si mwenye fadhila i want to assure jana sio sio kitambo jana nimekaa na stakeholders wale Kenya Institute of Freight Forwarders wale ambao kwamba wanafanya ile kazi ya clearing and forwarding jana nilikuwa na mkutano na wao and i want to assure you kwanza i confirm ya kwa hiyo program ya kuregesha bandari Mombasa has already been affected tayari imekuwa i am part and parcel of that witness pili tayari wananiambia ya kuwa tayari kuna watu wenye kuanza kuleta interest ya kufungua biashara zao hapa Mombasa na ndio tunaoyataka kuendeleza Mombasa yetu this is the kind of partnership that we are seeking as the county of Mombasa kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi na mengi mno mimi nina imani 
Your Excellency tumepita pale kila tukipita nasikia rigiji rigiji mimi na, na, nina imani utacheza kama we. mambo yale yatafanyika yatafanyika tu So with all that ni chukue fursa kuweza kumwalika ndugu waziri ambaye ametoa uhakikisho kwa wa Kenya hawatakaa na njaa Excellency regarding Achukwa and Deputy President and the governor present here Mombasa, Mushimua Sharif, other elected leaders, the national chairperson, Waiyes came and Amkirinya, the CEO, Mbatra Mudoka, council members, exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen. It is our great joy as a ministry to own the third edition of this year's annual ASK train fairs after two successful ones in Nairobi Kitale in the past week. The fairs are major events in the ministry's calendar as they provide the various actors in the sector an opportunity to showcase continuous innovations and technologies that contribute to the growth of this sector in different fronts. The public is similarly delighted to have this annual event back after two years' absence following the containment measures instituted by government for the control of the COVID-19 pandemic which ravaged this country. Your Excellency and Deputy President, as a sector, we are encouraged by the renewed focus and seal that the new government or the administration has accorded the agricultural sector in recognition of its contribution to the economic development of this nation. Let me take this early opportunity to specially thank you for yet again finding time to officiate the opening of the Mombasa ASK show, having presided over the Nairobi edition. This, among other events which you have personally spearheaded, demonstrates your personal commitment to the growth of this sector. Your Excellency, we are encouraged to note that from the very onset, the new administration has prioritized agriculture as a key driver to the nation's economic recovery and growth, particularly in giving focus to lowering the cost of inputs, specifically fertilizer, as an avenue to increasing agricultural productivity. Following this directive, the ministry has continued to avail these inputs to farmers across the various value chains to achieve the goal as intended by all of us. I am personally happy and privileged to having been appointed to this critical docket that will drive this agenda, and I commit to steer this ministry towards this goal. Your Excellency, this region has great potential. Production, <coughs> production and my, as this, this, this region has great potential in, uh, in production, and my ministry will account special attention to growth of collapsed value chains such as cassava, cashew nuts, and coconuts, for which this region has traditionally been known for. As a ministry, we commit to execute our role of ensuring increased agricultural productivity to guarantee nutrition and food security for the nation, as well as employment and wealth creation. We continue to promote and employ sector-specific technologies and innovations with a view to improve the productivity of the sector and its overall contribution to the economic development of this country. Your Excellency, with those remarks, ladies and gentlemen, it is my humble duty and honor to invite our chief guest to this to make his keynote and rest and officially open the Mombasa ASK Trend Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, the Deputy President. Thank you, Azili. Please be seated. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock Development, the Honorable Mithika Linturi, the Governor of Mombasa County, Shalif Nasir, Jr., members of parliament and all political leaders, the ESK national chairperson, 
council members, live governors, exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen, Hamjambo. Mabaza Hoi. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to join you all for the 119th edition of the Mombasa ESK International Show. This is the first edition after a three-year break brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. I commend the Agricultural Society of Kenya ESK for a successful return of trade fairs across the country. They provide a platform for exhibition public education <clears throat> and networking towards sparring development in agriculture, trade and allied sectors. The theme for this trade fair, promoting innovation and technology in agriculture and trade, speaks to the heart of our administration on our resolve to build back better our economy. At the same time, I commend the progress on the Mombasa Showground Integrated Land Use Master Plan, which is 78% complete. Its completion will transform the Mkomani Showground into a all year round exhibition, conferencing, networking, learning, and recreational park. Out of this, the first phase of the five year development plan of the Mkomani Conferencing Exposition Center is expect, expected to create 10,000 jobs, especially for our youth and innovators. Ladies and gentlemen and exhibitors, Kenya's economic growth has been heavily reliant on the agricultural sector. On average, the sector has contributed 25% directly to the GDP and 27% indirectly over the last two years. The sector remains central to the rural economy, which is dominated by smallholder farmers who contribute about 80% of agricultural production while employing more than 40% of the total population and more than 70% of Kenya's rural population. The Kenya Kwanzaa government has prioritized agriculture as one of the five pillars of our economic recovery plan alongside micro, small and medium enterprises, housing and settlement, health care, and the digital superhighway, and the creative economy. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, Kenya and indeed the Horn of Africa are facing extraordinary food and nutritional situation due to prolonged drought. As we speak, over 4.3 million Kenyans are in need of food and water. We have lost 2.5 million hands of livestock. The numbers grow every minute, day by day. These are not mere numbers. They are lives and livelihoods. It is absurd that we are discussing food insecurity in the 21st century. But as a government, we'll see a different Kenya in the next few months. It is our commitment. Meanwhile, I appeal to all the county governments through the Council of Governors to move a coordinated plan to supply food from the surplus producing counties to the affected regions. I also appeal to them to consider the lifting of the cess for food on transit to the affected zones affected by drought. I wish to single out efforts. I wish to single out efforts made by the Kenya Private Sector Association KEPSA the Kenya Association of Manufacturers come, the Kenya Red Cross, who are playing a key role in the distribution of relief food, development partners, and international humanitarian agencies, as well as Kenyans of goodwill in response to the drought situation. I call for proper utilization of the resources mobilized for this noble cause. Farm action will be taken against anyone who misappropriates the relief food and other resources for this very needed cause. Ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly concerned that despite the promising innovations from our young people, there is low youth participation in agriculture, inadequate integration of ICT, and low mechanization in production. That is why we are spearheading sustained agricultural reforms to accelerate integration of smart farming as conceived under the Kenya Kwanzaa plan. We don't want we do not want to produce for consumption only, 
but income too. We count on our youth. We'll continue providing an enabling environment for the youth to take our agriculture to the next level, where it also becomes a tool for fighting climate change. On another front, the blue economy is an emerging sector with enormous potential. Mobasa County and the greater coastal region contribute significantly to this subsector. Agriculture alone has a potential area of 1.4 million hectares suitable for fish farming and is capable of producing 750,000 metric tons valued at more than 250 billion Kenya shillings. Despite this enormous potential, only 2,000 hectares of land is under aquaculture. That is why we have established the State Department for the Blue Economy and Fisheries to drive the development of this critical sector, which is supporting over 2 million people directly and indirectly. I urge the residents of this great county to put more effort so that we can realize more acreage under aquaculture. Ladies and gentlemen, Coast Region has traditionally thrived as a leading producer of cashew nuts and coconut cash crops. We'll continue to implement targeted interventions to revitalize value addition to these two cash crops, which have performed dismally in recent years. I also challenge you to take the logical, logistical advantage of the port city of Mombasa and the free trade zone at Dongokudu to gain more from export. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I once again commend the Agricultural Society of Kenya, the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, the Governor of Mombasa County, exhibitors and all other stakeholders who played a role in making this trade fair a success. With those very many remarks, it is now my pleasure to officially open the 2022 ASK Mombasa International Show. Mungu wa bariki na mungu wa bariki Kenya. Asante ni sana for the well welcome the people of Mombasa led by our governor Rafiki Wetu. Wale ma governor watu wamefika Rafiki Wetu kutoka Kilifi our new cabinet secretaries na watu ya pwani serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza ikiongozwa na rais Dr. William Ruto imeangalia mambo ya wapwani vilivyo tumepatia nyinyi mawaziri tumepatia nyinyi speaker wa seneti tumepatia nyinyi ma principal secretaries tumepatia nyinyi Mohamed Ali kama commissioner wa parliamentary service commission na bado tunaendelea kugawia nyinyi nafasi mingi tuko na majority eh, majority eh, leader wetu deputy majority leader wen baya na tuko na wengine na hao mawaziri wetu mvuria na huyu shujaa mekatalili Aisha Jumu wa shujaa shangazi wa kitaifa na huyu shangazi wetu wa kitaifa Rais William Ruto na mimi tuko na matumaini kubwa atatusaidia huyu waziri mvuria amepewa ile sekta ambaye na husu nyinyi watu ya pwani mambo ya maritime uvuaji wa samaki na blue economy na kwa hivyo watu ya pwani mmeangaliwa vilivyo na serikali ya William Ruto na ni matumaini yetu pale mbele mtawachana na ile mzee muunge sisi 100% kwa sababu sisi ndio tunashughulikia mambo yenu mnajua watu ya pwani badali yenu ilikuwa imepotea imesukumwa mmepata shida mingi na yule mlikuwa mnachagua alikuwa amenyamaza lakini tangu tuchukue ushukani agizo la kwanza la rais mpya wa jamhuri ya Kenya ni badari ilegeshwe hapa Mombasa na imelegeshwa na kwa hivyo tuna matumaini ya kwamba uchumi wa pwani utafufuka na hivi karibuni nimemwambia gavana mimi mwenyewe nitapata nafasi tukuje na hawa viongozi tuzunguke badari tukiangalia vile biashara inaendelea kwa sababu tunataka kufuvua uchumi wa hapa pwani tungetaka we like to confirm to the people of coast region 
that the Ruto administration has thwarted the attempts to steal the port of Mombasa by the lords of impunity, state capture, and conflict of interest. And I would like to thank the board of directors of the Kenya Port Authority for their patriotism because they refused to allow the stealing of the port of Mombasa. President William Ruto has already directed the new CS for Transport and Roads Kipchuba Mukomen to do an audit of the port facilities and establish what else has been stolen by the Lords of Impunity, State Capture and Conflict of Interest with a view of restoring the port to the people of Kenya. Now, to get a Guambia Hour, what a foot of Yashara Guinea Kufanya. E. Badali is not available to be given to private individuals. It's a natural resource for this country. Nani Yawa Kenya Wot. Na kwa hivyo serikali ya William Ruto italida badari na badari ni ya wa Kenya na watu ya hapa pwani wapatiwe na fasi pia wafaidike kutoka badari. Nikimalizia nitangaze ya kwamba tumeuliza maofisas wetu wa utawala ya kwamba serikali mpya ya William Ruto haitaki ugomvi kati ya serikali kuu na serikali ya wetu wa mheshimu gavana wafanye kazi na yeye kwa sababu gavana amechaguliwa na wananchi wa Mombasa na tumeeleza officers wetu ya kwamba hakuna mashindano kati ya serikali kuu na serikali ya county zote tumechaguliwa tufanyie wa Kenya kazi na hiyo ndio mwelekeo mpya pia tumemwambia officers wetu wale wa utawala kuanzia regional commissioner kuanzia county commissioner mpaka chief waheshimu viongozi ambayo wamechaguliwa na wananchi kwa sababu hawa ndio chaguo la wananchi ile ilikuwa na kuwa hapa hapo mbeleni hao viongozi wetu wakina Mohamed Ali kuangaishwa kufurushwa hiyo maneno imefika kikomo tumepata uhuru katika jamhuri ya Kenya na viongozi wote watapata heshima ambaye inastahili kwa sababu wamechaguliwa na wananchi na wananchi ndio wenye kuamua na wao maofisas wetu wa utawala ni maofisas wazuri sana na tutafanya kazi na hawa na wako na mipango mizuri ni vile walikuwa wanatumiwa vibaya kupewa kazi ambaye si kazi yao ya kufanya siasa hiyo hapana kazi yao kazi yao ni kushughulikia wananchi mambo ya usalama mambo ya mipaka mambo ya maendeleo na hiyo ndio kazi serikali ya William Ruto imepatia maofisa hao wa utawala na tayari wameanza kufanya kazi na jia nzuri na tunafurahia sana so we want to encourage our officers of the national government administration the Ruto administration will not deploy you to do politics because that is not your job description the Ruto administration will deploy you positively to bring development to the people that you lead to bring security to the people you lead to create peace and harmonious coexistence among the people that you lead that is your mandate and that is the mandate you shall execute under this new administration so that Kenya can be able to move forward and Kenya can make progress and our people can put money in the pocket and we can have prosperity for the benefit of our people apia hawa officers wetu wa police niliwaambia wakati ya campaign ya kwamba tutaangalia mambo yenu pia tunajua mumeumia sana tangu mwai kebake ya ondoke hamujapata nyongeza ya mshahara na marupurupu tutaweka kamati hivi karibuni ya kuangalia mambo ya police officers and prisons officers their terms and conditions of service with a view of improving their remuneration allowances and other matters of promotion risk allowance and all things other matters at cause concern within the service lakini pia tumeuliza polisi pia mukipata mshahara mzuri na nyinyi mkuwe waangwana mubadilike mkuwe watu wazuri mukipewa mshahara kitu kikubwa muachane na mambo ya kitu kidogo kwa sababu hakuna haja ndio tuweze kuendelea mbele 
Si mungetaka tupatie polisi kitu kikubwa. Waachana na kitu kidogo. Na these police officers are good people. Wale wachache ambaye wanaharibu tuta tutarekebisha. Na mumeona mabadiliko imefanywa na rais wetu. Na tungetaka ku advise our police officers across the country. Please follow the constitution and the police service orders in the execution of your duties. Don't agree to obey unlawful orders because you will be held to account. You have seen matters of extrajudicial killings that were happening under the ring of the former DCI. Here in Mombasa, there are many cases of extrajudicial killings. Young men have disappeared without trace. Those are things that must come to an end. If anybody is suspected of having committed a crime, let him be investigated and taken before a court of law of competent jurisdiction and the court will make his findings and make a determination. But we cannot take the law into our own hands. But luckily for us, 98% of our police officers are very professional. They are good people. They obey the law. They follow the rule of law. They respect the constitution. But the 2% is the one we are asking to change. But it must start from the top. We ask all our police commanders to give lawful orders to their juniors in accordance with the law. Don't take the law into your own hands. It is unconstitutional and it's against the law. We want a just, equitable society where there is justice for everybody, where there is equity, and where the police, their work is to facilitate good living protect life and property and make sure that criminals are removed from a midst of abiding Kenyans and once we do that everything will go on very well ya mwisho tuko na shida kubwa sana ya kiangazi ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii kuuliza wa Kenya wote pahali walipo tukianzia with our development partners the private sector the county government individual businessmen we are making an appeal for you to contribute food and resources so that we can feed Kenyans who are suffering. This Saturday, His Excellency the President will lead the government in an awareness program of appealing for food and resources. He will be in the counties of Trukana and Samburu to distribute food and to make that appeal. And the rest of us will be all over the country making the same appeal so that no Kenyan can die from hunger, no Kenyan can suffer when other Kenyans have some surplus, so that all of us can take care of our brothers and sisters. Na kwa hayo mengi sana, ningetaka kusema shukurani kwa makaribisho yenu.